So today we're down here for a Varsity spot, Spotlight special. It is the equestrian doing work in commentary. I'm joined now by Heather and Ben from Work Riding. So guys, first of all, looking forward to today. It's going to be uh, quite a good day, I think, in the crisp, cold winter air. Yeah, this is a really nice change. I have to say, first of all, um, a club like Riding, how did you guys get involved with that? It's not your conventional sort of buck club, so was it something you, you wanted to do coming into uni or just something you sort of happened in? Well, I think we both, we both did quite a lot outside of school, and then coming back, we wanted to try and find people we could get, like, our people. What is the plan for today then? Because I think with varsity, with a game like football, it's obviously a sharp, and whoever wins on the day wins. But how is the structure of today going to work? Speaking of that communication, compared to other racing sports like MotoGP and F1, how different do you think it is in terms of just the relationship between the animal? You're racing, but you're racing with something that kind of has a personality. Uh, do you think that rider sleep relationship is really important? Well, if it, if it decides it doesn't like you, then it's not really much you can do about it, unfortunately. Well, I'm joined now by Arthur, the uh, horse, who is, uh, well, it's really speaking, in neutral. So, Arthur, Arthur, <laughs> Arthur. Right here, here, come, Arthur. That's Arthur. how I feel about you too, Tim. Arthur. <laughs> so, Arthur, it's, um, what, what do you expect from today? Do you think uh, Warwick maybe got what it takes to win? <laughs> okay, look, I know we've had our disagreements in the past, but I find like you're being really uncooperative right now. Look, I've got a job to do, so if you just... Right, do you think it's easy being head of sport? I mean, come on, look, I, it's not an easy job, Arthur. Come on, work with me here. <laughs> okay, do you know what? I'm, I'm head up to here with you. Look, your attitude has been absolutely off the. Don't look at me. <laughs> look at me when I'm talking to you. I know you. I know your eyes are on the side of your head. Right, come, come back. Right, come, no, no. I, I cannot believe this. I, I cannot believe this. Look, after all we've done for you, coming here to cover you, Arthur. Oh, don't give me that look. That's what you always say. That is what you always say. I'm done. <laughs> Finally, I've got to ask, in terms of actual dangerousness, in fact, is, yeah, how much is that a problem? How dangerous is this kind of riding? Uh, this sort of riding shouldn't be I'm only asking because later on I think I'm actually going to be getting to ride a horse. <laughs> and the last time I rode anything in racing terms, I spun off a go-kart on a track and was told by a steward, I probably could have been killed. So, uh, what are my odds of complete mortality today? I say it's nothing less than mine. Okay, that, that cheers me up a lot, guys. So good luck. Right, right, Rohirrim, right. <laughs> what was the speech from Lord of the Rings? There will be a day when the shields of men come crashing down, and the age of men will end. But it's not this day. This day we fight. <laughs> 